All right, so this is my review of the 3D printed moon that I printed off of Thingiverse. I'm very happy on how it turned out. Um, and I also did put an LED light inside of there too. And it came with this remote too, so I can actually change the, uh, the colors of it as well. So there's blue, I think that's blue. Yeah, it's blue, it might be showing up as purple on the, uh, on the camera. White, red, and you can also have it do uh, flashing colors, you can have it fade and uh, strobe. So anyways, this was a, I believe 50, 52 hour print because I enlarged it by 30%. And when I say 52 hour print in total, I'm talking about it took roughly 48 hours for the top section and then it took roughly two hours on the bottom plus, okay, so maybe 50 hours in total, I don't know. It was about a month ago when I printed this, but other than that, I think it looks really, really good. And I've seen some other moon models on Thingiverse that didn't look quite as detailed as this one, but uh, I'll definitely leave the links down below. And I'll also tell you how I got the LED in there and which LED that I used. Um, one thing that's really awesome is if you touch the bottom, it changes, it also turns off. You can. Uh, change the colors without the use of the remote. And um, yeah, so let me talk more about it. So here's the moon again, and uh, let me turn this off. Um, I printed this at 0.2 millimeters layer height, and I also used Hatchbox white PLA to print this. Um, it turned out really, really good, and there's a lot of detail as you can see on here. One thing I did want to point out is this hole down at the bottom. When you print this particular model, the hole will actually be very, very small. So I actually had a drill through this hole in order for me to place the LED. And um, when I did it, I just put glue around the LED and I just stuck it right in there. This is the remote that came with the LED. I ordered it off of eBay. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, it's multicolored, of course. So we got. I'm gonna turn it on and go white, green. You can do different shades of the color, all the fun stuff. You can turn up the brightness, turn it down. This print took a little bit longer than usual because I scaled it up about 30%, as I mentioned before. Um, it turned out really, really nice though, and I actually use it as a lamp. When you do buy this LED, it does come with a connector to charge it. And so this is the connector that came with it, with the LED. And um, so what you do is you just plug it in at the bottom and then you can go plug this into your computer or an external USB power source. And it will charge. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, one more note, I used uh, Cura. That's who I use, or that's what I use to uh, slice this model and print it on my Riprap Guru Prusa i3. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. If you want me to do a review of another 3D print, please let me know and I'll go do it. And uh, here's the time-lapse for the moon.